2013 American Trash Entertainment, bit of up and down year when it comes to the standings and rankings of all the wrestlers in the company, but when it's all said and done, we began 2013 and we're ending it the same way. William Wyeth, the Ace Heavyweight Championship, courtesy of Crossroads 9, and the controversial ending to the bull rope match. William Wyeth still Ace Heavyweight Champion. Uh, speaking of controversial endings, Crossroads 9, Stockade, uh, former champion. Stockade, what's your take on the matter? You know, you were you were a part of the main event at Crossroads 9, and now you're not even on this show tonight, Stockade. What's your take on the matter? What's your, what's your take? I'm just putting my eyes harder. Do I look like a bloody... I want you to do me a favor, Harder. Can you do me a favor, Harder? Can you do me a favor, friend? Yeah. Can you, huh? Can you do me a favor? Yes. Just tell Will I'm not gone. Tell Will the devil has been exercised. Tell Will I want my title, huh? Can you do this? Can you move your gums? Can you speak for me? Yes, I'll do that. And you tell the new management, Mike Morgan Jr., your buddy, your former commentating buddy, the camera kid! His father thought what he did to me was bad. Watch what I do to him! I will tear the Morgans apart! Can you do that? Yes. Huh? What? Yes. The next match is going to be a singles match scheduled for one fall. Your referee for this evening's senior official ref, Chris Shady Torres. Welcome back to Overdrive. This is going to be a great little contest, Mike Lewis. Is Shady Torres the senior official because he's the oldest and has the most gray hair? You stop it. He's the most experienced on the roster. Oh, wait a second. Oh, man, I think I owe these guys money. I got hope. It's just Tommy the Moose. Oh, thank goodness. Here comes the Moose. Weighing in at 305 pounds, this is Tommy the Moose! Tommy the Moose, the Italian muscle. Can he get it done here tonight on Overdrive? I'm a big fan of this guy. This guy's, he might have the brute strength of an Italian mobster, but I'll tell you this much. He's got the jovial nature of a beast from the East. I'll tell whoa, you that much. Whoa, throwing around and that moniker. And I don't that. throw around that moniker much. I like his hat. It's got a very, it's very, very Italian fedora that he rocks. I like the hat. I'm a big fan of the hat. Can the moose if get he it? gave the hat to the ring announcer, maybe you would freshen up his style. Oh, yeah. And introducing his opponent, making his return to ace this evening, he is the workhorse, Mo Sexton! What? He's back? Mo Sexton's back in ace? You kidding? There's no way. I didn't... I didn't oh, wait a second, wait a second! They're stuck here! Wait a minute! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? That's disgusting! Well, Brian Peterson, welcome to the booth. Welcome to your ace commentary debut. What do you... I, I, I thought this was Mo Sexton's comeback. I thought it was Mo Sexton, too. I was heard it was Mo Sexton, but it turned out to be Stockade himself. I don't, I, I don't know. I was hoping that Stockade was running to take you out, which would have been fantastic. I would have enjoyed that. Oh, gee, thanks a lot, Lewis. Regards to which, Stockade... Welcome to the commentary booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stockade, the despicable villain, the leader of the New Age Wrecking Crew. Disrespect. As he's only got two, says Chris Shady Torres. Stockade needs to keep going back to work here. You he's know, all, right the, all this anger inside is because he lost the title to... William Wyatt. Oh, the that's you know, that's purely speculation. That and was a controversial ending to that contest at Crossroads Nine. Absolutely. You want that DVD? AceProWrestling.com to pick it up in their shop area. Great show all around. Probably I think I think Stockade is mad because he went to take out this ring announcer Peterson, and he ran to us on commentary. Don't hide here. Don't think you hide here. <laughs> I thought you were. He thought it was Mike Lewis. Anyways, that's yeah. Tommy the Moose here, looking for an Italian whip, duck under, stockade, boot right to the solar plexus, and a boot right to the mush. That stockade's offense, all from the south side. Go for the cover, and he kicks out a two. 
Okay. Now, let, let me ask you a question. Now, are, you, are you of an Italian descent? No, I'm actually Irish. So do you owe this guy money, Big uh, Moose here? Oh, you? Not that I know. What? I'm just. I'm asking. I'm asking a, a real question. Here. Not that I know. Okay. Tommy, you never know. Tommy the Moose taking down with that rear chin lock. Firmly applying a stockade. He's got a big bicep. It's a lot of muscle. And, and, and bulk around that arm, so he's got it firmly wrench. It's now turned to a chokehold. Well, you know, Tommy the Moose wasn't prepared to wrestle Stockade. He, he was prepared to wrestle somebody else, and, you know, Stockade now has the advantage, clearly. I mean, Ryan Peterson, you're closer to the ring than anybody else when it comes to big holds like that. I mean, what's your opinion on the type of hold Stockade applied there? Well, like, like I said, we agreed that, you know, the controversial finish with the uh, cro at Crossroads with William Wyatt, he, lo he lost the title and he didn't like the way it ended. Now he can't. Unfortunately, he can't get his hands on the title holder. So now he's just taking it on somebody who's not even prepared. Yeah, I, I mean, clearly attacking the man from behind, and that's what I would do. I, and I, that's what I advocate. You always attack a man when he's not looking. It's easier to knock him out. And Stockade really laying it down with that knee strike. You know, Tommy the Moose is no small man, so Stockade picking him apart here. Now, I'm, I'm shocked by this. Look at this. This, this should give children nightmares. This, this look Stockade has. Look like he's about to either finish him or he's like hungry for some, for some more. Ooh! Nice left Lariat from Stockade. I, w I wish he would take you out, John. So you bad. And take your friend Peterson here with you. You know what? Andrew Tiny Johnson ring a bell. I could call him at any second. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure. Just ring the Taco Bell. He'll be here in a moment. <laughs> oh, you disrespectful funk. The leader of the New Age Wrecking Crew going right back to work here. The Moose. Moose is worse for wearing that buckle. Running splash avalanche by Stocky looking for a second one. Oh, uh -oh. Zake might be wasting a little too much time. Very reminiscent of Crossroads 9. Oh, look at that. Moose off the ropes. Oh. You don't see a, Where did that come from? You don't see a big man like that. Jumping out to do back elbows, beautifully done by the Moose. Even I can't do that. I'm a big guy myself. <laughs> you, 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 something tells me you can't do a lot of stuff. I'm gonna tell you, Mr. Peterson. Lewis, you better stop it. Don't even get started. Oh, Don't you start. <laughs> Jenny Torres up to the mandatory ten count. He's up to three. Both men getting up to their feet. Stockade looks a little surprised by uh, this sudden burst of adrenaline here. It's another right. The Moose really throwing it down here. Can he keep it going here? Can he throw the Italian right? Italian whip it to the buckle. Something tells me this isn't Tommy the Moose's first fight. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Moose again, running avalanche. And Ken. then Stockade rolls up to the ground. Oh, an Italian splash. Goes for the cover and oh, oh. he kicks out of two. I Let thought me. it was an upset. I mean, what could, what would this do for Tommy the Moose? Be the former heavyweight champion, former diamond champion. It would literally put you right in the top of the rankings. Any championship. If he would have pinned Stockade tonight, oh, that would send a really bad message to the New Age Wrecking Crew about their about leader. The Moose might be looking for that Uranagi. Stockade counters out. What'd you call me? Fire is carry. Pick up. Oh, my. He's got a big wow. line. Almost 300. Oh, my. Oh. Death Valley driver from Stockade. The Devil's oh. Outlaw. Vicious with that delivery. That has to be it. Nobody gets up for that. No, no, he kicked out. He kicked out. That's two. The only two. Shady Torres oh. with the base himself to stop the three. Only two, says the referee. And that was as close as you can get. That, that was so close. Now what's Sock going to do? Now he's, the old man's always thinking. He's always thinking. Sock getting back to his theory, trying to pick up the moves. What else can he do to defeat the Italian muscle here in Wallington on overdrive? Oh. oh. I think Stockade was looking for that DDT. That could have broken a rib there. He dug that shoulder in deep. And measuring him up now. What's Moose looking for? What's Moose going to do? Spear! What a spear from the Moose! I think that cover. One, two. Oh! oh. 
the foot of the rope from the spear from the moose. That's I Stockade's move. move. That's Stockade. What is Stockade's finishing move? What's Moose doing? Uh, I cannot believe that Mike Lewis. Th He's got some uh, cannolis on this guy, huh? Yeah, he's he's guy. Crowd here and the 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 in the crowd here for one more spear. Can he actually get it out of him? I don't know. Oh, he's looking for one more fade the black. Are you kidding me here? Stockades and sense after one. Can he survive his second? Oh, nice knee, high knee, right to the mush. And now Stockade setting him up. Oh, DDT. DDT. One, two, three. The winner of this match, Stockade. Stockade withstood one of his own spears. And in the end, an implant DDT later, the Moose tried to survive, but then ultimately Stockade prevails. You know, Stockade putting everyone in ace on notice. Hey, hey. Oh, right. I won my title! I think he wants a championship. Call me crazy, but I think he wants his belt back. I believe he does as well. He doesn't seem happy on that one. Hey, what's up, Ace Nation? This is the one and only Chris Taylor, and you're watching Ace Overdrive. Stay tuned. You know what? I'm pissed off. I should be the Fight for Flight champion. So tonight, it doesn't matter who I face, I'm going to rip them to shreds. I'm tired of this. I am Fight for Flight. There is no one else. Just the angel of darkness, Chris Rays. We wish you a Merry Christmas If only it were real Thanksgiving You sit at your table And you give thanks for everything that you think that you have Everything that you think you know that you have And, and, and then the next day, that night in fact, you walk out you go to the mall and you trample other people for your own sins. Your greed and your gluttony have swallowed you whole. And you think that you're celebrating the Lord's birthday, the birth of a newfound Savior, Jesus Christ. The one who's died for your sins and mine alone, too. But Christ died for those who believe in Him. And if you, if you are willing to trample your fellow man, you don't believe in Christ, no. You want to put a tree, a tree of Tammuz, inside your house? You think it represents Jesus? You think spoiling your rotten kids represents the Lord? It certainly doesn't represent mine! No, I'm good. I'm a good man. There's a lot of evil in this world. And I'm here to fight it. But sometimes God, you see... See, God needs necessary evil. To fight evil. A lot of people love to talk about David and Goliath and how and how David slayed Goliath by taking the slingshot and rocking it in his eye. But they forget what David did after that, what the Israeli army did. They killed the men, they raped the women, and they slaughtered the damn children. And that's what's going to happen here tonight. I give to you, Thoris and Creed, my friend. My brother in this fight, my brother in my army, the right hand of the child of God, the flawless one, Blake Morris. And I tell you this, if Elohim is by our side, nobody can stop us. The following contest is going to be a six-man aerial assault match, and it is to determine the number one contender for the Fight for Black Championship. Your record for the match, Brett Chris Shady Torres. Oh, and he's shady. Oh, he is shady. He's Chris Shady Torres, but it's time to fight for flight, and the fight for flight division's picking up big time here. You know, I wish the viewers at home could see how professional John is with a stupid beanie cap on. Here comes some fight for flight, fuck man! Time to get down. Josh Dark's looking to do it tonight. 
fight for flight. Josh Starks clearly is stuck in 1972. Clearly. Look at him move here. You know, I hate you, Mike Lewis, but I love the fight for flight division. I love the whole aspect of it. Whoa. Here comes Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor stole the show at Crossroads 9 in the Fight for Flight match. I honestly thought he was going to win the Fight for Flight championship. He was close, as were a lot of gentlemen in that match, but all came up short. This is their chance at redemption. All men want a shot at the new champion, All-Star Lou Torres, the first ever Fight for Flight champion. Here comes, oh boy. I've seen Ultimo Maya, Mike Lewis. He is a tough cat. The Guatemala Cougar is looking to dominate inside of the squared circle. It's an awesome nickname. I mean, we've got six competitors in this. That's what Fight for Fight's about, multi-man matches. Mike Lewis, I got up to Ricky Richards for a second before I had to come out to do this contest for overdrive. But let me tell you, Ricky Richards says he's bringing the fight in the Fight for Flight. And he's the best in the room. Got two more men looking to come out. And here comes the prodigy of the New Age Wrecking Crew, that vampire Chris Reigns. Evil in training is what we like to call it. Fight him! Fight him right now! Fight him! Fight him! Do it! Yeah, good. All over you. Good, good. Obviously, Chris Reyes learned that. Chris Reyes learned that from Stockade. Disrespect. He got y'all wet too. That's funny. That's disgusting. That's funny. That's disgusting. Your clothes are wet. That's funny. This music, you know, only the greatest have been able to hold this theme. This guy is more. He's more than a Hollywood gem. He's flawless. I'm telling you, you want a number one draft pick. This is who I got. We're doing a draft right now, the entire roster of A's, with the exception of Alvin Alvarez. Here's my number one draft. This guy's flawless, Blake Morris. And look who's got behind him. on bright, the spotlight's on bright for flawless Blake Morris, who's looking at that cross like he's God's gift. And then behind him, you got the dark, brooding, evil, sick son of a bitch, Thorson Creed. That's, that's pretty heavy stuff. Have you ever talked to the man personally? It's just, it's disgusting. Thorson Creed's a sick psychopath. He's gonna be, he's, he's the muscle. Is Josh Stark going to have an emotions right now? What's, what's going on? He's, he's feeling the groove, man. Let him be. Is he sick? Does he have Parkinson's? What's going on here? My God! What, what, what is that? What, is he avoiding flies? And here we go. The bell sounds. And it's Chris Reyes and Josh Starks. It's time to get down. The Vampire versus the Funk Man to kick off Fight for Flight here on Overdrive. If he bites his uh, throat, does marshmallows come out? Oh, he just bit it! Wait! He did. He might have just tasted some Afro Sheen, I believe. Big mouth is so low. Chris Reyes, his teeth. Oh, show! His teeth against Josh Starks' bro. Show. Wow. Don't talk jive again. I'm a jive soul, bro. Don't talk jive with me. Now Starks now trying to counter Reyes here, ducking under with a nice arm ringer. And a hammerlock now, beautifully done by Josh Starks. 
on Christian Fury. This is crazy. The side headlock race is really taking his style down a notch. Should bite him right in the torso. Well, why would you say that? Don't well, he's a vampire, John. Duh. You know, you know, Ray's teeth, his fangs have been medically cleared. He has no blood disorders, so he can go in this contest tonight by his management. I'm glad you uh, consulted his doc. Oh, soul food! No counter. No, thank you. I ate early. Wasn't asking. I was saying what Josh Starks is gonna What's in that crow? There's got to be something in there. Yeah, it's called. Not that, it's called his intensity, his his high-powered brain. He's a very smart individual inside of the squared circle. Oh, so that's where he keeps the protein shakes. Tag. We're not flagging anybody, right? Chris Ray is out. In comes Flawless Blake Morris. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What a front kick. That was unbelievable. Jumping roundhouse kick from Morris. That was flawless and almost knocked him out. That's all you had right there. That was an unbelievable kick. You know, you're able to do things like that when you're as holy as the flawless one is. He's not holy, he's just a man. He's a mere mortal. I don't think so. Have you ever talked to him? He'll tell you otherwise. Josh Starks now bouncing out there hitting that dropkick. Here comes Ultimo Maya, the Guadalajara Modern Cougar. Take it over with that head scissor. Follows Blake Morris here with the horse. Creed. And we're enlightening you one day at a time with Ace Overdrive. In the room, Ricky Richards driving that knee. Oh, look at that driving forearm strike. Richards nicely done with that. Oh, here's a duck under. Richards now counters the head scissors. Oh my, both knees for the mid six. No, he caught it. Counter Richards with a great block. Wow, that was unbelievable. Off the death by Taylor. Oh, looking for that knee. Taylor. Kick of his own right there to the face. Hit him right in the, looked like it hit him in the midsection. Actually caught him right square in the mush. Watch the vampire now. Vampire plays decoy. Nice knee to the mush. Taylor trying to fight to survive here. The guy who stole the show at Crossroads 9 just got rocked with the elbow. Oh, he's still standing after those two shots. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wow. Hurricane elbow on flawless Blake Morris. That was a DDT. Morrison Creed better go check on Morris. I think Morris might have a concussion. He does not look good right now. Right now, Taylor. Taylor just went for an Instagram. He raised just ducked out of the way. My God, this is breaking down here in Wallington. Now, Josh Starks is sending to the top row. Every man trying to pick their spots, Mike Lewis. That's what it is. Rays with a drop kick, Taylor got a rock. Oh, 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 Taylor jumped out of the way, but Rays hit a dive. Josh Starks now perching late. Oh, that looked a little low. Hit him right in the disco balls. Whoa, this is an unbelievable submission. Spinning butterfly lock. He's got to give up. Somehow the fro kept him balanced enough so he can withstand it. Whoa. I think he may have taken too much energy out of himself. He was looking for a, a butterfly suplex to the floor. No. Oh, my. This is broken down. This is broken down. It's getting bold and shoe ugly here in Wallington on overdrive. Taylor went for a spin. This is, by suplex. this is very reminiscent of the crossroads where Taylor was the only one left in the ring. Is he going to do what I think he's going to do right about now? Steal the show? Potentially. Taylor Richards went for a kick and just hit face first on the apron. Flawless Blake Morris. Here we go, Chris. Hey, that rhyme. It does rhyme because that's his name. You dink. Well, I call you Doink. Oh, uh, stink. Big 
born again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, God almighty. This, this is insane. This is insane. This is... Is this a suplex up the second rope to the floor? Oh, they caught him. They all caught him. What's Taylor going to do? My God! That was death on a plate right there. Blake Morris was fed like he was being fed to the heathens back in the day. Double stop from Taylor. I've never seen six men go down that quickly in my life. That was unbelievable. The titties, it's, it's over. There's no way you can kick out of that. Because it's false. I think Thorson Cree was screaming words of scripture trying to get Morris back to his feet. Probably. What? Man is very holy. He thinks he believes he's more than a mere man. He's he out of his mind. He is. You should you should really have a conversation with him. I don't want to. Instead, you're talking to idiots like Chris Taylor. What do you guys possibly talk about? Whoa! Whoa! Taylor got caught! And that might have just knocked the bejesus out of Taylor's hand. Remember, you have to have four other guys incapacitated to be able to even attempt it. Uh uh, come on. You know, it's not easy. Maya starting up first when Morris. Yeah! I am the tiger from Maya. It was a cover. Josh starts with the save. Yo, know, Josh starts is okay, but I hear his throw may have to go into intensive care tonight. He's taking a lot of damage. Curb stomp! Only one thing to do after a curb stomp. Well, that stands, of course. <laughs> it's like a... Cover the man! What are you doing? And that's what happens. Big time. You are out of control tonight. Chris Ray's almost stole one there. Chris Ray's had him with the spear, but again, everybody is, is not incapacitated. It's very Wait difficult. Wait a minute. Ricky Richards with a sit-out butterfly power bomb. There's a cover. Will this be enough? Ray somehow gets this is anybody's contest You're here. You're starting to see people move less and less in the longer this match goes. I don't know how Chris Taylor's even get. He's starting to stir and stumble to his feet. Richards may be the best in the room, but right now he's the only one up. Which technically classifies him as best in the room right now. It's like like best in show with the, the Westminster dog show. Only you would watch a dog show. What a loser. Poodle one this year. Yeah, I bet. Right. Looking for the elbow. Oh, Loris just super kicked him in the face. Out of nowhere, even with that super kick, that should do it. Chris Taylor with the save. How is Taylor even alive? You, you remember when this match started and everybody was going a thousand miles an hour? This is what happens. This is, that. It's a demolition derby. It's a car crash. And now, oh, flawless one's got him here. Taylor's in some trouble. What are we gonna see out of the fireman's carry? Counter from Taylor, he landed on his feet! Ducking the clothesline! Oh, reverse waist lock! Roundhouse! <laughs> and so what is he gonna do here? Goes him into the ropes! Oh, roaring elbow! That's normally a knockout blow. But no, he kept him on his feet to hit him with this. What is this? Death by Taylor! And that's what he was looking for earlier in the contest. Will it be enough? It is! And it's huge. Unbelievable. What a war. Chris Taylor, the show stealer at Crossroads 9, might now see himself in the driver's seat when it comes to fight for flight. All-Star Lou Torres has to be watching. He's the first champion. He might not make it past this. Chris Taylor, he just stole the show. Ladies and gentlemen, you just seen a six-way car crash.